Hello guys, and welcome to another video. And we're actually taking a look at Tetris 99 again, which I haven't looked at in quite a while, since the last time I got a new theme was Kirby in the Forgotten Land, which released over a year and a half ago. So it's been quite a while since I looked at it, since it has been a while since they did do like a new theme when the game was releasing or before a game released. But the fact that they're doing it for Super Mario RPG is really cool. I really like the fact that Nintendo has been advertising this game a lot since I... If, if you've been watching my channel for a little while, you know that I love the Mario RPGs. Between this game, Paper Mario, Mario and Luigi, they're just all really good. And I've been really looking forward to this remix. So I'm glad that Nintendo is promoting it in this way. And it's actually getting a Tetris 99 theme early, complete with like the music, different sound effects. Like we'll actually get to listen to some clean rips of the songs early, which is really cool. Like the three main battle themes will be here. So, and then you can see here in the background, it has the renders for Mario, Gino, Malu, Bowser and Peach, the main party members. So, that's pretty cool. And then in the background, it kind of has like a pattern with booze, stars, and bombs. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started here. So now it's playing the um, battle theme here, which I really like the new remix of. It almost sounds like a battle theme from the Mario and Luigi series now with the way that they structured it. But yeah, it sounds really good. Some people weren't the biggest fans of the synths that they used, but honestly, I feel like it kind of um, grew on a lot of people, myself included, after listening to like this kind of clean version of it, as well as like um, the full version of the, the theme, so... And the blocks here, they have like stars, and I think the colors kind of align with the star pieces, which makes a lot of sense. And it also has the sound effects as well, which is pretty fitting. They always handle these themes pretty well, which is why it's exciting when a new game gets like a Tetris 99 theme. This is actually technically the second Mario RPG to get a Tetris 99 theme, since the first was um, Origami King. I mean, I know Origami King really isn't an RPG, but it still is kind of a part of that super, like the Mario RPG umbrella that kind of encompasses like the Mario and Luigi series, Paper Mario series, this game, and even the Mario Plus Rabbids. I don't think Mario Plus Rabbids got a theme from this, because um, they tend to usually do Nintendo published games, and that's published by Ubisoft with Mario Plus Rabbids. But I am really excited about the remake of Super Mario RPG here. They actually revealed the developers for it, but I won't talk about that now since I'm saving that for a full video, like a separate video. of getting these combos in here. But yeah, I, I feel like, like with Tetris 99 in general, I'm kind of coming back to it after not playing it for a while. I think it still holds up pretty well. Like I do prefer F-099 now, but this still is a very solid game. 
And I'd say it's just as fun as it was a few years ago, and I can definitely understand why a lot of people are still playing this game. Okay, so now we're in the top 50, and it's playing the mini-boss theme, or fight against a slightly stronger monster. And honestly, this has to be one of my favorite, like, new covers from this game, because it sounds really good. It kind of has that, like, orchestral style to it. Yeah, I really like how this sounds. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we got defeated there, and it actually plays the sad song here when you're defeated. And I believe this is the first time we've heard the cover of this. So let's play it one more round. And also, a reminder if you haven't played Tetris 99 in a while, or before, if you're like first playing it because of this theme, um, you have to get 100 points to unlock a theme, so you'll have to play, like, a few rounds. And the better you place, the more points you get. So, if you just try the best that you can and try to get into, like, like the top 30 a few times, you'll probably get the theme within a few rounds. And also, one thing that I forgot to mention, the area where you play in is kind of, like, bottled after the UI. And it also has the font as well in some areas. I know not everyone is a fan of the UI, but personally, I think it's fine. It is a bit too simple. I wish there was a bit more, like, personality from the original game, but I, I think it's fine for what it is. Like, it, if the quality of life updates get more people into this game, I'm perfectly fine with something being, like, a little simplistic and minimalistic. As long as, like, the, the character's story, gameplay stays the same, I'm, like, personally fine with, like, menu changes and very small things. Okay. And I like the fact that this remake actually kind of uses a lot of the like the sound that the sound effects sound very faithful to the original game. I don't think they're exactly, like, reused from the original game. I, like, I think they are still, like, remade, but they do sound, like, very close to how they sounded in the original game. And I mean, like, they, they, in the original game, they sounded pretty good for the, um, Super Nintendo and Super Famicom, so I don't think it's, like, it doesn't really sound lazy that they're reusing them. They're still, like, perfectly fine sound effects.
Okay, so now we're in the top 50 again. We get to listen to this amazing mini-boss theme again. Okay, and also I forgot to mention, I didn't get any um, KOs in this round, but when you get a KO, um, it kind of shows a frog coin on your side, so I think that's pretty cool. But yeah, I unlock the theme now, and yeah, this is really cool. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.